Good day to all grade 7 learners. This is your school on air in Mathematics 7. I am teacher Joanne, your teacher in Mathematics 7. Before we begin, make sure that you are in a comfortable place and can clearly hear me in your radio and or see me in your screen. Have you taken your snacks? It is very important that your stomach is full and your body is in good condition, so your mind is alert and ready to listen and understand the lesson that we are going to discuss today. At this point, please get your module 3 for the lesson, Problems Involving Sets. I repeat, our lesson for today is Problems Involving Sets. After listening in this episode, you are expected to solve problems using Venn diagram. A simple way of illustrating set, subset, and set operation is through a Venn diagram. In the previous lessons, you were taught about these concepts. Today, you will be learning more of its uses. But before we proceed to our lesson, Let's describe the set notation given by the shaded region. Let us start. Number one, the figure shows elements which belong to set A or set B or to both sets or elements common to set A and set B. This is A union B. Number two, elements are common to set A and set B. The shaded region is A intersection B. Number three, elements which belong to set A. This is simply A or set A. Number four, elements of U that do not belong to B. This is complement of B or B prime. And number five, Elements which belong to set A, but which do not belong to set B. This is difference of A and B or A minus B. There are more interesting lessons ahead. Stay focused and enjoy learning about Venn diagram. Now, in solving problems using Venn diagram, we have to be familiarized with the terms or words used that can be aid in solving problems. We have these four terms, union, intersection, difference, and complement. If there is a word or, then the operation to be used is union. For intersection, we have the words and or all three. For difference, if we read the word but not and only, meaning take away. And for complement, if we have two sets, neither nor or neither of the three, neither one of the three, then that is complement. Sometimes you will encounter the word but not. That also means complement. There are many simple real life problems that could be solved applying the concepts of Venn diagram. But this is impossible if you don't have the idea about the setup of this diagram. Let us explore further how this diagram could solve the many real-life problems. Let us consider this situation. A class of 25 students were surveyed and asked if they have a brother or a sister. Eight students said they have only a brother. Six students said they have only a sister. Another six said they have both a brother and a sister. And five said they don't have a brother or a sister. Let us see the setup of this given problem in Venn diagram. Draw the Venn diagram and put up the data needed inside the Venn diagram. Put six in the intersection or at the center where two sets overlap because it says in the given problem, six said they have both brothers and sisters. Take note, we have the word end. Therefore, it is intersection. Eight 
said they have brother only. Put eight in brothers only. Six said they have sister only. Put six in sisters only. And last is five students said they don't have sisters or brothers, meaning they are only child. Put this data outside the two sets but inside the U. Remember these illustrations because there are more interesting activities in the next lessons which are related to this concept. Keep going! A simple way of illustrating set, subset, and set operation is through Venn diagram. Here, universal set or U is represented by a simple plane area bounded by a rectangle and its subsets are represented by circles. Since Venn diagrams are visual representations of relationships, they are very useful in showing similarities and differences between sets. In fact, set problems can be better solved using Venn diagrams. Try to look at this example. Out of 50 students, 23 joined mathematics club and 32 joined English club. If 8 joined in both mathematics and English club, how many have joined the English club only? How about in mathematics club only? How many are neither in mathematics nor in English club? In solving set problems, it is easier to follow the technique start inside out. This is done by putting the common elements first in the center of the two or three overlapping sets. Most of the time, when putting the elements, working backwards starting from the last given data helps solve set problems easily. Let us apply this technique in answering the problem mentioned earlier. Arrange the given data. We have out of 50 students, 23 joined the mathematics club, 32 joined the English club, 8 joined in both mathematics and English club. But in a start inside out technique, the data go this way. Remember, there are three questions to be answered. One, how many have joined the English club only? Two, how about in mathematics club only? And for the last question, how many are neither in mathematics nor in English club? Illustrate the Venn diagram of the problem and start filling the diagram starting from the center of two overlapping sets as marked by the arrow. Then work backward starting from the last given data. The last given data here is 8 joined in both mathematics and English club. Put 8 at the center where the two sets overlap. 32 joined the English club. Subtract 8 from 32. From means you need to write 32 first before 8. That is 32 less 8 equals 24. Put 24 in English club only. This completes the 32 students. 23 join the mathematics club. Again, subtract 8 from 23. That is 23 minus 8 equals 15. Put 15 in mathematics club only. This completes the 23 students. Out of 50 students, Add all the elements who joined the two clubs. That is 15 plus 8 plus 24 equals 47. Since the total is 47 and not equal to 50, subtract 47 from 50. 50 minus 47 equals 3. Put 3 outside the two sets but inside the U. This completes the 50 students. Fill in the Venn diagram with all the elements and answer the questions. How many have joined the mathematics club only? The answer is 
15 students joined the mathematics club only. Number two, how many have joined the English club only? The answer is 24 students joined the English club only. And for number three, how many are neither in mathematics nor English club? The answer is three students are neither in mathematics nor English club. Awesome, this technique works. The next problem will surely excite you. A group of 50 students went to a tour in Palawan province. Out of the 50 students, 24 joined the trip to Coron. 18 went to Tubataha Reef. 20 visited El Nido. 12 made the trip to Coron and Tubataha Reef. 15 saw Tubataha Reef and El Nido. 11 made a trip to Coron and El Nido. And 10 saw the three tourist spots. The questions are, how many students went to Coron only? How many students went to Tubataha Reef only? How many have joined the El Nido trip only? And how many did not go to any tourist spots? Let's answer the given problem by first arranging the given data. 50 students went in a tour in Palawan province. 24 joined the trip to Coron. 18 went to Tubataha Reef. 20 visited El Nido. 12 made a trip to Coron and Tubataha Reef. 15 saw Tubataha Reef and El Nido. 11 made a trip to Coron and El Nido. And 10 saw the three tourist spots. In solving set problems with three sets, you can also apply the technique start inside out. Make a Venn diagram. Draw three overlapping sets inside the U. You can represent the given sets with any letter of the alphabet. C represents Coron. E represents El Nido. And T represents Tubataha Reef. Take note, use the start inside out technique. Start filling the sets from the inside out. The last given data here is 10 saw the three tourist spots. Put 10 at the center where the three sets overlap. 11 made a trip to Coron and El Nido. Subtract 10 from 11. 11 minus 10 equals 1. Put 1 in set C and E. This completes the 11 students. 15 saw Tubataha Reef and El Nido. Subtract 10 from 15. 15 minus 10 equals 5. Put 5 in set E and T. This completes the 15 students. 12 made a trip to Coron and Tubataha Reef. Subtract 10 from 12. 12 minus 10 equals 2. Put 2 in set C and T. This completes the 12 students. 20 visited El Nido. Add all the given elements of set C. Elements that are in blue circle. That is 10 plus 5 plus 1 equals 16. Subtract the total from 20. That is 20 minus 16 equals 4. Put 4 in set E only. This completes the 20 students. 18 went to Tubataha Reef. Add all the given elements of set T. Elements that are in brown circle. That is 10 plus 5 plus 2 equals 17. Subtract the total from 18. 18 minus 17 equals 1. Put 1 in set T only. This completes the 18 students. 24 joined the trip to Coron. Add all the given elements of set C. Elements that are in green circle. That is 10 plus 1 plus 2 equals 13. Subtract the total from 24. 24 
minus 13 equals 11. Put 11 in set C only. This completes the 24 students. 50 students went to a tour in Palawan province. Add all the given elements. We have 10 plus 11 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 equals 34. Subtract the total from 50. Put 16 inside U but outside the three circles. Fill in the Venn diagram with all the elements and answer the questions. How many of the students went to Koron only? The answer is 11 students went to Koron only. How many students went to Tubataha Reef only? The answer is one student went to Tubataha Reef only. How many students joined the El Nido trip only? The answer is four students joined the El Nido trip only. How many students did not go to any of the tourist spots? The answer is 16 students did not go to any of the tourist spots. I hope all of you understood our lesson this day. I know you are ready to explore more problems in your module. Now, let's have a recap of what we have discussed today. In solving set problems, it is easier to follow the technique start inside out. This is done by putting the common elements first in the center of two or three overlapping sets. Most of the time, when putting the elements, working backward starting from the last given data helps solve set problems easily. If you have questions or clarifications, you can message your teacher through group chat, messenger, or Facebook if available. Be sure that you will finish all the activities in your module so that you can submit on the scheduled time. Once again, one lesson has been done today. Additional activities are attached to your modules. You are encouraged to answer the activities for you to improve your skill in solving problems involving sets. Be sure to tune in in our school on air every day at a scheduled time at DWNDFM 88.5 kHz or watch on CMD Cable Television or watch on Kawayan City Division Facebook Live. Once again, this is Teacher Joanne, your teacher in Mathematics 7. Have a great day and stay safe everyone!